Hi, I'm Lauren, and we're back with What's Happening Idaho. Today we have Quincy. What's up, Lauren? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Full disclosure, he was my people watcher partner yesterday in the crowd, <laughs> and we had a blast. We did. It was fun. <laughs> It was fun. Dang it. I was here the whole time. You, I didn't go to the you, crowd. You were stuck here. Yes. They had I you mean, in jail. I wasn't stuck. I got to meet some amazing people. So I'm okay with that. But I miss watching the crowd because wow. the people watching is amazing. It is. It actually is. So, so it's a little different than Portland. He, being here? Yeah. Yeah. And the people watching yeah, is a little different. Yes, it is. I actually like the people watching in Portland, though. It's oh, very absolutely. entertaining. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Well, right now there's like lots of fires at courthouses and stuff, right? Well, not no more. It was. <laughs> now it's fun too. But uh, but the people in general in Portland are just fun to watch. That's very true. <laughs> so my husband's a tattoo artist and from Seattle. So we would go down to Portland all the time. You probably actually know a lot of the same people. I'm sorry <laughs> that I have to give him a little plug because he's not here to meet you. I'm sorry. Okay. So all sorry, right. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I like these microphones, by the way. See, I have this board at home when I do my mm -hmm. shows, but this is like the traveling professional equipment here. I just rock a cell phone. That's what I do. I just do That's a little fine. cell phone for live streaming, but yeah. this is like real stuff here. So I'm like, I feel very important, like VIP status. Okay, so <laughs> let our viewers know you're the famous black preacher. The and black conservative preacher on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, Twitter, all that stuff is the BC preacher, all one word. So tell us what happened to you. What happened to me? A lot's happened to me. So last year, I'll say this. I know what yeah. story you're talking about. Last year in, in August of, uh, what was that, 2021, yeah. Arthur Pulowski came down to Portland, Oregon. Uh, there was a church event going on, and the church event hasn't even started. It was 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Antifa comes in. I, I won't even say it was Antifa. It was definitely Black Block. All, every single one of them were dressed in black from head to toe. About 30 of them, they walk in. First things first, they throw something toward my family. A bomb goes off and shrapnel goes everywhere. Someone actually stuck their arm out and blocked some of the shrapnel from hitting my uh, one-year-old daughter at the time. I was live streaming, so I'm like yelling at my children, I have, which I have eight children. I'm yelling at my children like, yo, get back. My wife is there, get back. Um, so that, that erupted. Several weeks later, later, I was out of town down in California live streaming a event. I had somebody else live streaming on my platform a press conference in Portland that Antifa and the liberal left were putting on. I called my wife. I said, hey, they're doing a conference right now downtown. I'm watching my live stream in California, and pretty soon I see my wife pop up in my live stream with two of our children. <laughs> And she just starts blasting all the, the local mainstream liberal media, including Antifa. And, you know, Antifa's like yelling at her, well, your husband's a dangerous man to our, you know, our, our community. And my wife's pointing at every single Antifa person. So her stuff went viral, international. People found out who she was. So. Well, don't mess with the children. Mama Bear comes out. I know. Oh, I my know. gosh. I thought yeah. Black Block and Antifa were pro Black Lives Matter. Well, I thought so, too. I, I really did. But for some reason, I've heard this rumor about that white supremacist, that black people can actually be white supremacists nowadays. Okay. And I actually, heard, I actually heard that from white people. I didn't hear that from black people. Oh. I heard that from white people oh. that they told me that black people can actually be white supremacists now. Are you a black white supremacist are we getting that interview today yes i am <laughs> i i'm also an insurrectionist nice so all right i know oh, yeah you were at j6 right i'm a yeah yeah i'm media i was at j6 i was there you know supporting donald trump i was there with the millions and millions of people we're gonna so. get knocks on our doors now sorry I'm sorry Sorry about that. I, okay. I got my knock already. So. Oh, media. Oh, media. I don't understand. Like, somebody has to cover your media. Yeah. It was official. Yeah. What did you think of that whole scene? It was something I'll never forget. Um, I've had a lot of people, a lot of friends who have had some, you know, obviously traumatic things, memories of that day. I mean, it was. It was very, I mean, it was historic, but everything that was happening was like surreal. I mean, because you were actually at the Capitol. And actually see all that stuff happening at the U.S. Capitol, it, it's something you'll never forget. 
That makes all the hair stand up on my arms just it, thinking about that. It does. You know, and it, it's, it's funny because every time I go back to D.C., and I don't know what it is, I always have to go down to the Capitol and just, I just replay it all back in my mind. So, you know, I, I can understand the people who actually did get, get hurt, you know, whether it was police officers or, or citizens and people who are in jail, just the, the, the trauma that they probably actually do deal with in regards to that day because there was so much commotion back and forth with police and, you know, obviously people going in or just even people outside who did not go in but experienced, you know, uh, ammunition from the police officers, you know. There was gas being thrown in the air, flash grenades, you know, and a lot of these people, they're they're not from Portland, so they've never experienced yeah. that type of stuff. So, you know, elderly people who were there probably smelling tear gas and, and bear mace and so that's horrible. Yeah. That's the stuff that's really not talked about. You know, a lot of times we focus on more of the J Sixers and people who are locked up in jail and people who entered the building. We we're not we don't really talk about the people who you know, like you guys, if it would have right. been your first time experiencing bear mace and, and loud explosions from police officers and and just the commotion between the the energy of us as American citizens, the passion and everything that was going on. You know, a lot of people have never experienced that. So, um, like I said, there's a lot of people. I, I, I unfortunately had a friend who uh, passed you know, in, re in regards to some of this stuff. And so there's been, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of things that happened since J6 in a lot of different areas. So there's casualties that we don't even know about. There are, there are casualties that a lot of people don't know about. I mean, besides Ashley. Right. I, I just can't help but think, you know, we gave George Floyd four funerals and we had a Air Force funeral Wait, you guys veteran. don't, wait, hold on. You, you guys, you guys don't worship George Floyd? <laughs> like, hold on. Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> I mean, this I is don't North do, Idaho. Tell me let's so. be real. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big no. crack cocaine fan. Right. So exactly. I, all right. <laughs> like, just, just, I was just wondering. I thought he was a hero. I thought he was a hero. That's what I heard. <laughs> what did you think of George Floyd? <laughs> well, I'm going to keep my mouth shut right now. So. <laughs> no, absolutely. Sorry. I didn't mean to really, like pull it and tug it to, you know. Crazy stuff out here. <laughs> you have to deal with the consequences. He's of definitely every not. Action. He's definitely not no hero. So I'll just put it like that. Definitely not no hero. Not somebody I'd want a statue of or a tattoo of. Now maybe to his daughter and, and family, I could understand their their compassion and their love for him. But I didn't know the dude. I I don't care. Absolutely no. I'm with you. Yeah. What do you? So kind of a quick question. What do you think about race relations in the country right now? Um. I don't really think it is. It, it, it don't exist. It's, okay. it's fabricated. It's made up. They're wanting it to, to be there. It really don't exist. And I think majority of black people don't even like think about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would imagine it seems like the people who talk about it the most are the ones who think about it. The most. Yes. For whatever reason. They're the ones right. who are <laughs> oppressed. See, I've never been oppressed, but those ones think and believe that they've been oppressed. But are all about inclusion. Yeah. How does that work? I don't know. <laughs> That's wild. So where can our listeners follow you? Um, YouTube. Nice. The Black Conservative Preacher. Facebook, Rumble, nice. Twitter, The BC Preacher, all one word. Or I can make it easy. How, how about I do this? I'll make it easy. Go to onamericanstreets.com. Okay. Onamericanstreets.com. Yeah. That's easy. Yep. I can remember that. You can remember that? I think so. I and I have so. this hat there, too. I love I'm just that. Saying. I love the hat. I love that. I might have to get it from my husband. He gets spicy stuff all the time. All right. There you it. go. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on with us today. You're welcome. And thank you. I hope you. all of your interviews have been great. They've been so spot far. on. That's yes. perfect. Yep. I've personally enjoyed hanging out with you. I think you're really awesome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I like You're fun, too. Cool you're fun, too. Oh, thank we you should go people watch. We will. We'll okay. today. All right. Can you join us? I... I have to get approval from the boss man first. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. Thanks. Thank you.